Well, hey gang, Daryl Davis coming here to talk about how to design a career worth smiling about. So I want this video is going to be a little long because I want to give you a couple of ways to handle that objection on a listing appointment when the homeowner says, uh, will you take less commission? The other broker, they'll take less, you know. So here's how you handle it because there's two, I'm going to give you two techniques. This one is a little longer. Let's say the homeowner says, Daryl, you know, if you'll take less, it's another real estate company, you know, BS Realty. <laughs> Bob Smith. Bob says he'll take less. If you take it, match his, then I'll, we'll hire you. And you say, okay, so let me understand. If I can match Bob's, then you're ready to go ahead with me? And they'll say, yes. Well, tell me why, Mr. Hunter. Why, why would you choose me if I were to match him? Why would you choose me versus Bob? Bob? Well, Daryl, because we like you. You're good looking. <laughs> you're better skilled. Bop, bop. So they list all these things. And then after they list those things and they finish up with, because oh, we like your company, we think you'll do better marketing and spend more money on us, you'd say this. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Hana, Hana, isn't that why I'm worth that extra 1% or whatever the difference is? Isn't that why I'm worth that extra 1%? You know, listen, I think we, we've got, I, we're on the same page. You know the expression, you get what you pay for. Let's get the ball rolling. Here's the paperwork. Let, let me get to work. Let me do this for you. Okay, great. All right, so that's one way. Here's another way. It's a little bit more in depth, but it's real. I, I love it. Mr. Misahana, you see, here's the problem when a broker says they're going to take less than what, what I'm suggesting. Let's say you've got a company uh, in corporate America, they're selling widgets and it takes a certain amount of money to produce the widget and they sell the widget. Now, when they sell the widget, that price covers two things. It covers the overhead to produce the widget and it covers the profit for the shareholders. Now, if let's say that company decides they're gonna sell the widget for less money, well, there's one of two things that they're gonna do. It's either going to in, go into the profit. So now the profit, instead of it being this, is gonna be this which is going to upset the shareholders. So what do they do instead of that to maintain, and the stock goes down, instead of doing that, they're going to cut overhead. They're going to cut the overhead to maintain the same profit margin. They need to cut the overhead, which means they may have to close factories. They've got to fire people, lay people off, etc. The same is true here. When you have an agent who says, listen, I'll take it for less money just to get your business. That is going to come from one of two places, either A, that agent is going to be eaten into their profit. If an agent says, you know, this is what I need to get your house sold and to feed my family, to make a profit, because we are in this to, to do that. They're either going to take it from their profit, which means the money that they use to feed their family, to put their kids through school, they're going to take f f food off the table just to get your listing. Now, if an agent is willing to do that, I'd be concerned about how quick they're going to be to give your money away when negotiating a deal. So that's... Most agents, I believe, if not all, wouldn't do that. So they're going to do it somewhere else. If it's not in the profit, it has to be in the overhead. Now, in real estate, the overhead to get a house sold is the marketing. It's the advertising, the open houses, etc. So they'll have to cut back on those things. But here's the thing. It won't sound like they're cutting back because they'll still tell you, well, I'm going to do an open house. We're going to do the ads. But maybe instead of doing an open house every few weeks, whatever is necessary, they'll only do one every few months. Or perhaps the advertising, instead of advertising it every weekend in the next 30 days, they'll only advertise one. So you'll still sound like they're spending the same, but they're not. Listen, you've heard that expression, you get what you pay for. I, if I could do it for less, I would take less. But to have my integrity with you, to get the job done for what you're asking in the time frame you're asking, this is what it's going to cost for us to do the job. Anyway, gang, I hope that helped you. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to keep smiling.